Hi, uh, my name is Ron George. For those of you who don't know me, uh, I, I go locally by Spike. Uh, I am a member of the Chippewas of uh, Calvin Stony Point First Nation. I was born and raised here, and uh, I actually live here right now. Uh, the reason for this video is that on November 13th of 2020, myself and Carmen Rogers and Kenneth Wolf were elected to the council um, as new members. And since that time, I can advise you that uh, council has operated uh, in a fashion that I would uh, not characterize as being open and transparent. In fact, in many cases, it's been quite the opposite. would also like you to know that since that time, we have yet to have an in-face uh, council meeting. I understand that COVID has been an issue, but uh, these have all been Zoom meetings. Uh, I want to talk to you uh, on an ongoing basis about some of the issues because I believe that uh, this isn't about me and what my personal um, aspirations might be. It's about a duty that I have to the community and to the people who have, uh, who have uh, voted for me and placed their confidence in me. Uh, as much as uh, we have tried, I mean myself and Ken and Carm, uh, it's been almost impossible to uh, move forward with any kind of a positive agenda. If we happen to speak out of turn or we speak in a way that uh, uh, the host of the, uh, of the Zoom platform uh, doesn't agree with, uh, he simply uh, mutes us, uh, but on occasion he is completely um, um, uh, removed us from the meeting. Uh, that is unfortunate because this is a democratic process and we actually have the right to be able to speak, particularly on behalf of the community and the concerns that you express to us. One of the things that I will be talking uh, about uh, during the course of these videos will be uh, the suspension of myself and Carmen and uh, Ken uh, which was characterized as being an administrative suspension or a suspension because we are under investigation for workplace harassment. In a nutshell, I can tell you that the report came back on that, and uh, uh, the first line of the report was very clear that they found no evidence to show that any, any of us had been engaged in workplace harassment, but then uh, the report went on. Uh, now, since that time, we haven't received any uh, details with respect to what this was all about, nor was there any procedural fairness, which is a real concern to me because I find that uh, offering people procedural fairness or due course uh, when they're accused of something or when they're let go uh, or when there's some kind of a complaint is, is a legal requirement. Uh, people need to be advised of what it is that they're being accused of. Uh, this council doesn't do that, uh, in my in my opinion, in a sufficient way to be able to meet that responsibility. Uh, another thing we're going to talk about is, for example, COVID funding. Uh, we want to look into uh, and have tried to look into the issue of where that money was spent, to what extent did community get it versus, uh, let's say, consultants or lawyers uh, or employees. Um, I mean, people are suffering uh, in the middle of this uh, pandemic, which is uh, very difficult, particularly people who are marginalized and uh, have uh, difficulty accessing resources to be able to care for their families. So uh, we're going to move ahead with this. Um, it's something that I think we, we should do. And, um, uh, you know, I, I really believe that information needs to be given to community members. That's just not happening, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, so I'm going to be sending out more requests uh, for information. I can tell you that a lot of times we ask questions and there's never an answer. We, we, uh, we send those questions to the political leader and the political leader never responds to us, just never. And in some cases the same thing has happened with the chief executive officer or the band manager. So uh, you know, these attempts to minimize us and demean us, they're just not working. They're not going to work. I know that they'll probably respond to these videos or this video by demeaning and attempting to diminish and gaslighting. But again, 
and that doesn't matter to me. Uh, I, I just think that's childish and we need to be responsible in the things that we do. So uh, thank you for listening to this and uh, please look forward to hearing more about uh, these particular issues. Thank you.